Hi everyone, I hope you're well. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I took this photograph using one mag box and a load of candles. So, let's crack on. So this photograph at the moment only exists in my head, but as I've said before in videos, if you're seeing this video, it means that it works to some extent. So what I'm going to do is a very simple portrait, but I'm then going to try and build on that by introducing lots of candles. So we have my amazing model friend Liv over here, and we've got this lamp in the corner. So my base photograph is going to be a case of exposing for this lamp, and as you'll see in this video, I did something very similar. So I'm basically going to follow on from that video and we're going to try and make something a bit more impressive. So we're going to do it in stages. So the first stage, I'm just going to take an exposure for the lamp. Now at the moment, there is no light source on Liv. That means that Liv is going to be near darkness. It's not going to be flattering. So we will introduce the light source. But first, I just want to get the shot of the composition and the lamp being exposed. So let's just do that first of all. So no flash or anything at the moment. I know because this is going to be a creative portrait, I want to use a wide aperture. So I'm on my Sony A9 with my Sony 35mm 1.8 lens, and I'm going to shoot this wide open at 1.8. My ISO, again, I would assume is going to want to be very low, so I'm going to put that at 100, and my shutter speed is going to be, we'll put it at 125 to see what that gives us. And remember, at the moment, what I'm doing is just looking at the lamp. So we can see there, the lamp exposure is quite nice. We've not blown out the highlights. As always, that is the most important thing when you're exposing for a bright object. You want to make sure that you're not losing detail in the highlights. So what we now do is introduce our off-camera flash. Because this is a portrait, I want to try and get the nicest light possible, which means I'm going to use the Magmod Magbox. The closer the light source, the softer the light, and the larger the light source the softer the light. So I want to position this mag box just outside of the frame without it being in the shot. So I want it as close as possible without it being in. So we might just need to rejig things a little bit. So about there, because I want to keep the composition that I had before. At the moment, the speed light, which is a Godox V862, is on 128 one, power. So it's the lowest power setting it can be on. Let's just see what this gives us. Yeah, that's really nice now. Now also notice how this table has a glass surface. And again, as you will have seen in the video where I talked about visual triggers, a glass surface means reflections. So let's just position the camera so that I'm getting a reflection this time of Liv. I'm trying to do that and, and get the lamp in. Yeah, we can just about do that, that's beautiful. So already we've got a really nice, simple portrait, but we can try and make that better now by introducing light in the foreground in the form of candles. So now I'm gonna light up a lot of candles and we're gonna see what that does. Okay, so let's just see where we're up to at the moment. My only struggle at the moment is trying to get the reflection in. So what I'm gonna do is just move back the table a little bit further. There's obviously going to be a gap between these two chests that are underneath, but that doesn't matter because you won't see that in the shot. So the further back I go, because I'm on my 35mm lens, ideally it's probably a better shot for a 24mm lens, but I don't have one. Move these a bit closer. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's looking nice. So we're getting really nice foreground bokeh now from these candles. So actually just to look towards the light, Liv, if that's okay, please. It's beautiful. I'm also going to introduce a bit more ambient light. Make the shutter speed slower. So I'm going to go from 125 to a 50th. Now that might seem a bit strange because if you're at a 50th of a second, it means that you would think you're going to get movement in, in your subject, but we won't because the flash will freeze Liv. But it will also allow in a lot more ambient light. It's going to allow in more light from the candles, as you can see there. That's good. Let's go to 80th now. That's really nice. I'm gonna go really close now with these candles. I'm gonna move the candles really close to the edge of the table. Just looking towards the light again, please, Liv. Good, really good. I'm just gonna manually warm up my white balance. Go from 6,000 to 7,000 Kelvin. I just 
to make sure that I'm getting the reflection in. It's easy when you're doing a shot like this to concentrate on your subject with, and not concentrate on the reflection, and that'd be a shame. So this shot is not the shot that I thought it would be at the beginning, where I thought it'd be a much wider shot. I'm going in really close to all this stuff, basically. That's the technical term. That's looking good. Let's just move this. We are so close to it working at the moment, it's just playing around a little bit with the composition. I'll tell you what we're gonna do now, we're gonna introduce a load more candles. We've, we've moved these things around a little bit. I love doing stuff like this. I mean, this a shot like this is for fun, and I'm only ever really trying to achieve one photograph. So what I like doing is, is building up this shot. And it's, it's now developed into a composition which I wasn't really expecting it to at the beginning, but there's nothing wrong with that. We're just um, working on it, working on it, and eventually we will hopefully hit the jackpot. Okay, so we've changed the composition quite a bit, as I say. Not got the reflection anymore, although we could have the reflection if we move these candles. The lesson for a photograph like this is to keep on critiquing the image all the time. So when you take one, think, right, what could be improved? Because there'll always be something. Well, you don't try not to set yourself on fire if you're doing something like this. So I can get the reflection in now. I'm also getting in the lamp in the right-hand side of the frame as well, which is nice. Yeah, that's good. It's really nice. I'm just trying to make sure that I get the reflection in. Just looking towards the light now, please, Liv. Beautiful. Excellent. Thank you very much. So. I hope you've enjoyed that video and found it useful. Again, let me go through the steps. We started off with a very simple composition. Just live on the sofa with the lamp and we expose for the lamp because that's the brightest object in the photograph. We then introduced a speed light in, the form, in a mag box to introduce a light onto live. The speed light is in the mag box, which means that the light is going to be very large as a light source and close as well. We then played around with the composition, introducing the reflection of the glass table, and then obviously we, we use all these candles. And eventually, I'm, I think we've come up with something that looks pretty cool. So, as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please do let me know in the comments. And if I could ask you to please also like the video as well, because that really helps. So until the next video, I will see you next time.